This is what ultimately drew me to turn to the Lord. Many people talk about their own experiences, right? They go through life, they go through trauma, tribulation, something they went through, maybe some, maybe a, you know, what, people, what, do, what do people call it again? Um, a aha moment when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, realizing that God really got them through something or God showed them something or God showed them a vision or something came true that God gave them in a vision or something that they went through. You never know, whatever it is. But I'm gonna talk about my experience. And my experience is it's not it's not it's not it's not super um OD, it's not super crazy, it's not super wild or nothing like that. Um I would say let's start off you know, I grew up in the church, right? I grew up in the church and, you know, my parents, you know, they go to church. So all my siblings and all of us, we, we go to church, right? And growing up in the church, you know, I would go to Bible, Bible school, you know, everybody, like everybody else, right? Everybody else that, especially that was younger, you know, in the, in, in, in the church, right? And so you would go, I would go, and I wouldn't really know why I was there, but I enjoy like the little songs, like, you know, uh, Jizo and all of that stuff, right? Y'all know, know the song, y'all know the song. Don't act like you don't know the song. Bro, so I'm there and, you know, I continuously go there for years and years to come. And I, I, start, I started learning more about, you know, who God really is. But at the same time, you know, when you're younger, you don't really know unless, you know, you, you, you kind of have that mindset of, um, you know, your parents really just pushing that, pushing the word into you, right? I mean, my parents did that, but I didn't really have a understanding of it all, a deeper understanding of it all, obviously like I do now. So let's go back in time, right? So I'm learning about baptism, you know, hearing, believing, repenting, confessing, be baptized, right? Learning about all the different steps. I'm learning about um, many different things, you know, who God is, how the earth was created, Adam and Eve, Moses, Abraham, Job, Isaac, Jacob, just many different Bible stories, different Bible heroes. You know, we all used to read the little, you know, picture books with like the heroes and the different stories. And, you know, we, we all used to do that. If you grew up in the faith, you did that, right? So let's go to where I was about age 10. So at this age, I had a bunch of friends, um, you know, obviously younger and older friends in the in the church of faith, right? And I enjoyed, you know, the, the, the worship services, Bible classes, the Bible classes every single Wednesday and Sunday were just fun. Like, I love them, bro. Like, and, you know, me really realizing and coming to my own was how much I actually enjoyed it and how much I enjoyed actually learning it. And so life goes on, life goes on. I get to middle school, right? Middle school starts. I'm new to middle school, obviously, so you got lockers, you got new groups of friends, new new you know people. Every single year, you're gonna have new people, but when you step to middle school, and obviously high school, it's, it's a new group of people coming from another school, elementary school, so on and so forth. So, you know, we here now, I'm in middle school, right? And you know, when you're in middle school, you start, you know, you get a phone maybe, right? You get a phone, you get, you know, you get, you start to become more social or you start become, becoming more antisocial. Because usually elementary school, nobody thinking, they everybody just talking, bro. Everybody just yapping in elementary school. When you're in middle school, you have there's more there's more people around you than the elementary school, right? So you start going through more though as you get to that age, right? You start doing more schoolwork, you start having more responsibilities. As you get older, you get more responsibility. Right? That's like when you get when you get older and you become an adult, that's more bills and that's more money you need to be making. But anyways, we're talking about middle school. So middle school, there I am, boom. I start catching feelings for a girl, right? That's when you get into the oh, like I like her or I think she's cute or she thinks he's cute or da 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 back and forth. That's when you get kinda get to that age and you start learning and about relationships, you start learning about, you know, sexual stuff, you start learning about you start learning about a bunch of different topics, right? Because, you know, high school is a different ball game, but they're, they're supposed to be preparing your mindset for high school. But we all both know that it's going it's only really preparing us for high school specifically. Now, it's not preparing us for the real world. So let's go. Middle school. I'm about 12 years old. Um, this is actually the year where I got baptized. This is actually the year where I, I went through 
um, actually went through something that caused me to really um, get deeper in my faith. So my seventh grade year, that's about 12, right? Y'all y'all, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's about 11, 12. So seventh grade year, I tore my tendon in my left middle finger, right? And so the doctor was trying to say I was basically out for the season. I played the whole season, right? So I played the whole season. I was still 12 by the end of my seventh grade season, right? And, I, and then let's, let's fast forward to my eighth grade year. Actually, let me take that back. Seventh, this is seventh grade, I just finished my season. And I think I had gotten hurt or something. And so this is what happened. So I had a friend, I'm not gonna say his name, let's just call him uh, LeBron. <laughs> Since y'all like LeBron so much. Let's just call him LeBron James, right? Or my bad, LeBron Jones. So LeBron Jones, right? So my boy, he, he, was, he grew up in the faith just like me, though he was two years older than me. He grew up in the faith like me, but he was already in high school. So he was going through his own battles. I was going through my own battles, right? So I went through things with a girl, talked to girls, was getting rejected left and right, right? So that kind of put me into a, a point in my life to where I was like, okay, I mean, I'm young, I ain't really caring about the, like, I care about the, I cared about the rejection. Like, we all did care about the rejection. We still do care about the rejection, right? But at the same time, you're like, mm, there's other girls around the school too, right? But see, in middle school, we all got those middle school crushes and we can't get off of, right? <laughs> so I was still stuck on her, right? And I, and I continuously, you know, learned about the faith. I went back to church, you know, I, I just, but I was just going through things. It was a point in time where I, I had to really like silence myself and listen to the Lord. And once that happened to me and I got closure from a worship that I could just move on. And those who did me wrong or those who rejected me because they didn't like me or because they didn't see anything in me, I told myself, look, I'm gonna move on because God has something better for me. I'm gonna move on. And I think that was the first time in reality that I realized like God is real because God brought something else, not a relationship, but more friends, more passion and more goals for myself. And I was more goal driven, period. I was more driven to be all I could be for the Lord, right? And be all I can be for myself and for the people around me, especially my friends and family and everything. So once I got to that point, I was like, look, I'm going to, I'm going, I want to, I want to truly know why Jesus died for us, right? Because I want to truly learn, you know, what is the gospel? Right? What is the gospel? Why should we get baptized? Right? Acts 2.38. Y'all go read that. But why should we get baptized? Because Paul said it for the remission of all of our sins. He told every single one of us to be baptized. And that verse really stuck with me. And that's ultimately what led me. Now, I went through the steps of hearing, believing, repenting, confessing, and being baptized. And obviously living for God all throughout our days and doing his will. But that going through rejection like that and and you you know y'all may not see the rejection as big or as bad as i do but y'all have all felt some type of rejection we have all felt some type of rejection from somebody from an opportunity from the world period like rejection is inevitable right because not everything's going to work our way people are not everybody's not going to like us it's just, just how it goes and so i had to learn to cope with it i had to learn to find a way to improve myself and to continuously find a way to live for God and live for me, right? So fast forward to my baptism day. I was 12 years old, like 12 years old, bright-minded, full of energy. I'm still full of energy, but come on, bro. Like I'm so young and we, and and I'm, I'm just hyped to become baptized, to become one with Christ, to you know, become a newborn babe. And that day changed my life forever. And it really caused me to really focus in on my faith. And if, if my, if my story, you know, if my story didn't, didn't really, um, prick your heart, I want to let you know something. God wants you to turn to him. God favors you. He wants all of us, every single one of you, every single one of the viewers, to turn to God, to turn to him. Read Acts 2.38, right? 
And this is the thing about God. He had he already has the plans laid out for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, because he doesn't want to harm you or hinder you. He, he doesn't. The reason he has plans, he, the reason things don't work out for you, the reason you get rejected is because he has something better for you. And that's, and I'm telling you, that's the, that's, that's the beautiful thing I learned about not only just life, but, but, but God, period. Because he puts new opportunities in front of you when it seems like the opportunities are slim. But I hope y'all enjoyed my testimony. I hope y'all enjoyed watching. I hope this will inspire many people. I hope this inspires um, you. And uh, share this video with somebody that may need it because everybody's testimony is different. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's circumstances are different. So I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. God bless y'all, bro.